English with an erudite. English lessons, magic garden series and other materials. Hello, this is Yolanta from the YouTube channel English with an erudite. Today I'm going to talk about the successive stages of one's life. As usual, the video is with subtitles in several languages and also with the key vocabulary in the description box below. Your life and mine started when our parents conceived us. That moment is often called conception, the moment of conception. So you were conceived and I was conceived. After you were conceived, your mother became pregnant or your mother got pregnant and her pregnancy started. We often say that a pregnant woman is expecting. She is expecting. If a pregnancy is normal and healthy, after about nine months, the pregnant woman goes into labour. It is often said that childbirth is a very, very difficult and dangerous journey for the mother and the baby. Perhaps it is the most difficult journey that we are going to undertake during our lives. You were probably born uh, in the maternity ward of a hospital. The maternity ward of a hospital is a special place uh, in a hospital where babies are delivered. You might have been born at home. I was born in the maternity ward of a hospital and at that time the fathers were not allowed to visit the young mothers. So my father could only stand in front of the hospital and wave at my mother. A lot of women breastfeed their babies for quite a long time after they were born. So you might have been breastfed or I was breastfed. After you were born, you were called a newborn or an infant. A newborn or an infant. Later, they called us simply a baby. Human babies, as you obviously know, come into the world completely helpless and useless. And they require a long time and effort to grow and learn. So the first stage of our lives is infancy. At eight months or so we started to crawl on the floor or to crawl along the floor and we started to learn to walk. At that point people referred to us as toddlers. Toddlers are children uh, that are learning to walk. Later they probably just referred to us as children or as kids. Our parents, um, our relatives and maybe friends of the family started to bring us up or to raise us. So we bring up children or we raise children and the children are brought up or raised. Children are also educated and uh, they are usually educated by their teachers, but uh, those of uh, you who 
were homeschooled, your primary educators were your own, to your own parents. So after the infancy, the next stage uh, in your life was childhood. I hope you all had a very happy childhood and you still can recall a lot of happy childhood memories. The next stage, a rather difficult one, is called adolescence. Adolescence usually starts uh, when uh, one is uh, about 11 or 12 and one becomes a teenager or a teenage child or an adolescent. During that stage, um, teenagers go through a number of um, physical, uh, emotional and psychological uh, changes which can be a little bit frightening at times or frustrating or I hope also wonderful. Gradually we are we uh, grow up, so we grow up and our final uh, adult characters begin to take shape and we reach the next stage, which is called adulthood. So after infancy, childhood, adolescence, we finally reach Adulthood. Adulthood um, seems to be the longest stage of one's life. First, we reach early adulthood and we become young adults. Then we are simply referred to as adults. If you are over 20, you might be in your early 20s or mid 20s or late 20s. If you are over 30, you might be in your early 30s, mid 30s or late 30s and so on. At some point, we are considered middle-aged and it's not for me to say when middle age really starts. It's probably quite subjective. And then slowly but inevitably, we grow old or we age or we become old or we become elderly so people call us old or elderly perhaps senior citizens or old age pensioners when people grow old they usually make a will a will is a special document which is sometimes called the last testament in such a document, we declare, we state what we want to do with our money and possessions uh, after we are dead. So we leave our money and other possessions to our family members or friends, perhaps um, some distant relatives or a charity organization, for example. Finally, we all die. If we are very lucky, we die peacefully. We die of old age or we die a natural death. We die of old age or we die a natural death. I'm going to make another video about death and dying sometime in the future. The body of a dead person is either buried uh, in a coffin, in a grave, in the cemetery, during a ceremony called a funeral. Sometimes the body of a dead person is cremated and in my country cremation is becoming more and more popular. Then the ashes of uh, of the dead person are either scattered somewhere, if the law permits that, or they have to be buried at a designated place. 
before that final moment comes. However, I would like you to constantly remind yourself that life is not meant to be easy, that problems are natural and only to be expected, but we should do our best to enjoy whatever life throws at us. So please appreciate and enjoy every pleasurable moment of your life. Don't be too hard on yourselves and also be kind to others. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.